You, the deal to raise the nation's debt ceiling has cleared one hurdle, but a bigger challenge comes tomorrow on Capitol Hill. The bill passed a House committee by a single vote today. And it appears to have enough bipartisan support with a full House vote set for tomorrow. KTLA's John Finolio is watching Washington for us on the eve of this critical vote. John? Yeah, well, sure, Micah, that's right. Here's what we know tonight. A sizable group of Republicans and Democrats do not like this bill and just say it's bad for America, but they may not be able to stop it with the default deadline less than a week away. Clerk will report to tally. Seven yeas, six nays. Motion is agreed to. With just days until a government default, lawmakers are slowly making progress reaching a debt limit deal but neither party appears completely happy. We've been held hostage in a way that we should never be held hostage. And I think to a person in the Democratic caucus, we understand the consequences if we were to default on paying our bills. Both parties have agreed. The, the pain will be to both sides. We're not taking hostages. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Biden negotiated the deal, which must pass the House with 218 votes, then cleared the Senate by Monday in order to avert a default. With the passage of the Fiscal Responsibility Act, we'll responsibly lift the debt ceiling and avoid a default that would devastate the American economy. But many hard right Republicans argue the measure doesn't include enough government spending cuts and are signaling Speaker McCarthy's leadership may be in jeopardy. Some have signaled calling for a snap vote to oust him from his position. The Republican conference right now has been torn asunder and we are working hard to try to put it back together again. I want to be very clear, not one Republican should vote for this deal. Not one. Meantime, some Democrats oppose other elements of the deal, such as higher age limits for food stamps. We're focused on making sure that we avoid a catastrophic default, that we don't allow the extreme MAGA Republicans to crash the economy and trigger a job-killing recession. The White House estimates the deal would reduce government spending over time by at least $1 trillion. It would also roll back unspent COVID relief money and rescind some IRS funding. Both the president and Speaker McCarthy expressing optimism it will pass the House. I'm not sure what in the bill people are concerned about. It is the largest savings of $2.1 trillion we've ever had. On his way into the meeting tonight, Speaker McCarthy was asked what his message would be to fellow Republicans who plan to vote no for the deal. The Speaker replied, vote yes. We're told he got a standing ovation when he entered the room. Sure, Micah, we'll be watching. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.